Hello everyone and welcome back to Movement. This week what we're going to do is explore mime work. And mime is completely based around a fixed point. Now what is a fixed point? Point fix simply means that I take an arbitrary point in space and I don't move it. I can move the rest of my body, but that space stays entirely still. Is we are creating something real or the illusion of something real based on space because there's nothing around us, right? So we are inventing whatever we are doing. You have energy and this imaginary world has energy and where the two things come together is an illusion. That's where the imagination of the audience joins you. So if I walk over and I'm opening up a cabinet, right? Well, the cabinet is here. And as soon as I reach up and I grab, now you know that there's something up here and the fixed point is the, the knob of the cabinet door that I have shown you because I've shown you how big it is and where it is. But it has to be there in the exact same spot every time for our audience to understand it. Because once I've established that this is where the cabinet is, that is where the cabinet opens, that's where the knob is, right? Now if it were to move, the audience is aware that there was an illusion. Lies. Oh, lies! It's funny, as soon as you tell an audience that something is there, right? If there's something that I'm leaning on, if there's a wall in front of me, what I'm doing is I'm showing you that there is something there in front of me and you, the audience, go, oh, but my job is to stay true to what that, what that space is, what that fixed point is. Now, how we define a point is usually based on the relationship between opening and closing, right? So if it's a wall, and I'm showing you that there's a wall. And when you touch the wall, it has energy too. So when you touch it, it stops your hand. Just like that. Yeah, it's just like this. Right. Yeah, it's like a real wall. <laughs> what I have to do is have no tension in my hand. And as soon as it play, gets placed on the wall, now there's tension, right? And as soon as my hand leaves the wall, it has, to, it has to lose all of the tension that was there. Because what I'm doing is showing you through tension that something is there. First thing that I want you to do is try just making a muscle, but really fast and crisp, like in the arm here. You see that little pop that happens when I flex all of the muscles in my arm? This is a talk. We're going to take that movement, add it to a point fix. And that that is a fixed point. So now my hand cannot move. My body has to move around this hand this fixed point until I release. As soon as I release, then I can move throughout the space. So what I want you to do first is to look around and just find a spot in space and then walk away from it and then find it again and see just how much, see how many times you can do it and you can keep coming back to that fixed point. And then pinch a little air. And as you connect that thumb and index finger, make a little top. Then keep that point fixed. Try moving your body. Then make another top. Try moving your body and keep them both still. Everything you create in pantomime, all illusions are basically just dots. They're just pieces of energy and you put those dots together to form objects from the real world. And so on. And then what I want you to do is start imagining that that fixed point is something else. Maybe it's a, a switch. Maybe it's a lever that you're pulling. Maybe it doesn't matter, but I want you to, once, once that's there in your head, now you can find it consistently, right? And once that point is fixed in your head, you'll start to fill in the details of what's around you. Good. Another way of testing your accuracy with these point fix is to use either an object or a partner if you have one available. Now I can have my partner set his hands just like this. I'll put my hand in between that space. 
My goal is to move myself around without allowing this space to change. Play around, see what your body wants to do. Have an imaginary fixed point. It's all about the fixed point. But once you have that, then start exploring the different relationships with movement. See if you can pick things up. But the big thing too is you're also going to have to pay attention to how you pick things up in real life. How do you move? If this is a pipe that I have to twist, I have to move both of these at the same time because if I don't, the illusion's broken. You have two points of energy, but the space between them is very important as well. Yeah, and you can move them anywhere you want. So what I want you to do is play around, explore, have fun. But what you're gonna upload is a video of you finding and defining a fixed point. And then I want you to turn that fixed point into a couple objects. I want you to pick it up, turn on a switch, do a bunch of different things. It doesn't matter. Show me how creative you can be. But it's all through mime work. What you're doing is you're creating something out of your imagination. And because you're so specific with it. Your imagination meets theirs and together you create an object. We will see it because you see it. So what I want you to do is record it, upload it, then I want you to watch each other's and we're going to comment on what we liked. All right, everybody, I can't wait to see your videos and I'll see you soon.